what up what up today i'm gonna go through my morning and evening skincare routine while i'm on accutane that's important because um siren you know what I realized? I've gotten so used to the sirens that it's not until I'm like on the phone with someone or like recording something that I'll hear it in the background and like I didn't hear it in real life and it's like, what? Yeah, it's important to note that I am on Accutane because to give a bit of background, Accutane or like isotretinoin makes your skin soup super, 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 super dry and sensitive. Therefore, I had to cut out all of my lotions and potions, not lotions, but all the, all the fun stuff of skincare, I've had to just cut out for the next like six months to avoid irritation. Part of me wants to start using gentle serums. I did talk to my dermatologist at my last appointment and she made it sound as if as long as I'm not using any actives, especially anything with salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, I should be fine. Like she said, like a vitamin, like a gentle vitamin C should be perfectly fine. She just advised that I introduce it slowly. I'm going to do that in the future, but we're getting off topic. Basically the goal of my skincare routine right now is to keep my skin hydrated and calm, which are two quality I can barely handle in my actual life. So um, I think that's all I wanted to preface. So let's head to my bathroom. Well, welcome to my bathroom. I shouldn't have done this this early. This is like legit, I've just woken up, but you know what? We're doing it live. Technically, the first thing I do when I wake up is take off all my hydrocolide patches, which is low-key the most satisfying thing in the world to like see all the gunk that was like sucked out overnight. Delicious. I already did that because I thought that'd be kind of gross for you to see. So let me um, tie my hair up. Okay, I'm gonna pump the brakes on this. Before I do anything, my coffee's brewing and I can smell it. And I'm gonna go get that really fast. <laughs> So the first thing I do after I wash my hands, obviously, is just splash my face with cold water to like wake me up. And it's also like energizing and invigorating and refreshing and other adjectives. Then to cleanse, I use the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. Eight bucks at the drugstore, nothing too crazy. So I hate to constantly compare a drugstore to high end, but I'm going to. And if I had to compare this to anything, it does really remind me of a favorite cleanser of mine, the First Aid Beauty cleanser. The First Aid Beauty cleanser is definitely a lot better to remove makeup, although the pump of this, so much nicer. I'm all about ease of use and I'm already kind of like deer in the headlights when I'm washing my face. So to have to open up a tube and like squirt out product, it's just not ideal. I do really prefer a pump. I know that sounds really silly, but like it is really easy that I can keep my eyes closed and just pump. So I cleanse for about 30 seconds. I don't think it's exact 30 seconds because I don't count in my head because I'm not a psychopath. Um, if I'm being realistic, this is when I throw in my contacts, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Now on to the products. So the first thing I use is the Cozarx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Not gonna lie, when I first picked this up, the texture of this is that of snot. So you have to have some patience when you're first putting it on to let it absorb. So what I like to do is take a few pumps, rub it in my hands a bit, and just press it while my face is still damp. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I've started to apply products while my face is still wet. Make the home alone face. <laughs> what an unrealistic shocked face. I don't, I've never been shocked and be like, oh my goodness. Maybe that's because I'm not a child or maybe that's because it's a movie. That's the dream, dude. Make one or a couple holiday movies when you're like 10 years old and then just live off the residuals for the rest of your life. I really miss my calling. 
Next, I choose between two hyaluronic acid serums. One is from The Ordinary and the other is the Vichy Mineral 89. I feel like it depends on which one's closest to me. Let's be honest, I'm lazy. Today, I'm gonna use the Vichy. And hyaluronic acid, again, I missed my face to get it wet, so I'm applying it wet and it like helps keep it hydrated. I don't know how to explain it. God, I really noticed since starting Accutane, I don't know if it's because my skin is thinner or dry, but my bags, like I, I've always had a bit of an under eye, as does everyone. I definitely have like dark circles now. It's weird how Accutane makes you feel really young and old at the same time. Like obviously I feel young because I have like acne as an adult, but I feel old in that it's like, my face looks like it's aged 20 years. I'm constantly sore. Like my back hurts and crap, which is like an old person thing. <laughs> Finally, to seal all that in, I'm using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I like the lotion. I'm just very picky about my lotions and how they absorb. I don't like any residue. I don't like it too thick. Like I, I'll do layers and layers of this versus a thicker cream. But I am gonna mist my face again to make sure I'm applying all my products wet. Another facial spray I've been using sometimes is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Because I am addicted to facial sprays, I'll admit it. Like, I just love them throughout the day. It's just so refreshing. It's like a sweet little tidbit. This is salt water. <laughs> sodium chloride and there's hypochlorous acid. I just don't really know what this does, but I don't really care because it's just like a nice facial spray. I think it's supposed to calm your like irritated skin. When I do just have my bare face, sometimes I do spray this on and it's just nice. It's just calming. I don't really see a difference in my skin. It's very minimal if there is a difference. So finally for sunscreen, depending on the day, well, depending on what I'm doing. Yeah, depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing that day. Cool. I alternate between the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen and the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46. The fancy one from the Derm. Both these are great. I use them for different reasons. If I'm just going about my day, I might be outside, I might be next to a window. I just use the plain old sunscreen because I don't really care about what it looks like or if it's like a white cast or whatever. But if I am wearing makeup, I really do like using the Unseen Sunscreen as a primer because it does have kind of a silicone texture and it's a little bit pore filling or Blurring. That was way too much explanation to say that I use sunscreen because sunscreen is really important and especially while on Accutane your skin is super super sensitive to the sun and I want to prevent as much scarring as I can. Today I'm just using the, the like the just simple one. The sunscreen that smells like sunscreen, it looks like sunscreen. Like I would say Supergroup's like the fancy like tech version where it's like, ooh, it doesn't look like sunscreen, that's crazy. All right, and then after sunscreen, that completes my morning skincare. What time is it? Oh geez, all right, I gotta start working, okay, bye. <laughs> Good evening. First order of business, oh, ooh. I gotta take this off. Oh, right, okay, so first order of business, I tied my hair up. <laughs> Sorry, is that Hailey Bieber? <laughs> what? The low bun. All right, the fact that I had to explain the joke made the joke less funny. I have to take my contacts out. The first thing I do, well, I guess the first thing I do is wash my hands and then take my contacts out because I double cleanse and the oil cleanser can sometimes irritate my eyes. So I will be blind for the remainder of this. Oh no. Basically anytime I run my water, my water heater will go off. Um, so that's probably a terrible noise in the background and I apologize. I obviously have makeup on right now. Like I said, I double cleanse. So the first thing I use is the face shop, which is like the knockoff of the body shop, I guess. I don't know. Rice water, bright light facial cleansing oil. Oh great, it's low. I have a backup, but why did I not? The key to using a face oil is doing like three steps. So first get a few pumps in your hand 
and warm it up in your hands and then just pat it on top of your skin and slowly start to rub that in to loosen up the makeup and then you don't want to start splashing your face you just want to get your hands damp pat again and then slowly start to rub that to get the milky texture lather going and you want to slowly add more water slowly add more water to get rid of that residue if I have a bunch of makeup on, I will first use some micellar water with a reusable cotton round just to take off like the first layer and then I do the same process. Then for the second step of my double cleanse, I'm using the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser again. I feel like the oil kind of takes off the majority, if not all, so I don't really know if this actually does anything for removing makeup, but it is nice and gentle and I like it. So every now and again, like every couple of days after I cleanse, I'll use the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask just to give my skin in like a drink of water. So after I like pat my face dry is when I apply my hydrocolite patches. Right now I have the COSRX ones. I really like the patches versus when my skin was like initially purging, I used a lot of the Band-Aid Hydro, whatever those are called, which are great because you can like fly through a lot of these. But what I like about these is they're actually like breathable. Cause like I found the Band-Aid ones if I left them on too long, not even too long, just like overnight or whatever. When I took them off, off my skin would look like. Remember when you were like a kid and you had like a cut on your finger and then you took the bandaid off and your finger was all pruny? The top layer of my skin was kind of doing that. It gave me like a pit in my stomach. I don't know if that's like healthy for your skin barrier. So I kind of stopped using those. I really think these are better for your skin because they're intended for your face. Yeah, I just apply those. Like I said, I like to apply my products on damp skin. So I'm using the Used to the People Adaptogen Mist again, facial spray. I've really noticed a difference applying my products on wet skin. It like hydrates to the extreme. That just unlocked a memory from my childhood. Okay, let's move on. So after I've like dampened my face, I'm going to use the YouTube People Adaptogen Cream. Sorry, Deep Moisture Cream. I think it's just like mushroom extract. I want to say it's like herbs or herbs depending on what part of the country you're from this guy was a classic i bought a mini facial spray for my cubicle to like spray my face because facial sprays are addicting and it came with a mini size of this and i was like oh what a bonus like how convenient it comes with a moisturizer well, they hook, line, and sinkered me because I ran out to buy the full size. And when I think about spending $58 on a moisturizer, the feeling is nausea. But you know what? On Accutane, you really can't use many products. So this is my one like treat yourself moment. So yeah, I just use like a dollop of it, warm it up in my hands and pat into my face. I did notice that, so obviously your skin's extremely dry on Accutane, but I think I was over moisturizing in the beginning and I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep my skin moisturized, but I don't want to overload it and cause more breakouts. Cause I do kind of wanna like dry out the acne a little bit. Like that's the whole point. So I don't wanna like crazy overload it with hydration, but I do wanna maintain a certain level of hydration if that makes any sense. I think I, I think I got a point there. Yeah. I wanna quickly mention if I feel like a cystic breakout coming like below the surface i'll use the first nix it complexion com <laughs> complexion solution wow which is basically just tea tree oil no shade but this is terrible packaging and it's like really hard to get out but this is the only treatment i'll use that i'm like comfortable using because it is pretty gentle it is just tea tree oil and it'll help the healing process finally my last step in my evening skincare routine is my lips so since getting on accutane i have started to treat my lips as just like an extension of my skincare routine i feel like before accutane i would really just like neglect my lips like I would just like leisurely put on chapstick whenever I felt like but now that the climate of my lips is the Sahara Desert I've had to make some adjustments so first I dampen them with some water and then I actually apply the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion on top of them I know that seems kind of silly and then to seal in the moisture I layer Aquaphor on top of it 
So that completes the skincare portion of this video. I would say an optional last step is to stare at yourself in the mirror and wallow in self-pity because your skin looks like garbage. But I'm trying to live without that toxicity in my life. Uh, so I'm trying to, you know, avoid being so hard on myself. It's a process. Okay. I know you've probably been wondering, did I clean my bathroom just specifically for this? Wonder no longer. The answer is, Absolutely. My bathroom's never that clean. It's always a little bit. There's either water splashed or makeup because I've been running out the door. So I just want to be real. My bathroom does not look like that on a daily basis, but I try to clean it every week and every once in a while it's like that, but it doesn't last long. So I'm actually a disaster. <laughs> That's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> to finish off this video, something that I really want to start practicing is gratitude. That sounds super freaking cheesy, but yeah, I listened to a podcast that claimed it reduces anxiety and there's a plethora of other benefits and I think this year has really made me like sentimental for things so by doing this at the end of every video it'll keep me accountable basically that's it because <laughs> I'm not gonna write in a journal every day that's not going to happen for my little gratitude bit today I'm actually grateful for my big ass pointy nose which I tried to contour today Thanks for noticing. No, um, my nose is usually something I'm insecure about. It has character, but like, you know, it's not my favorite part of my face. I mean, I don't think I have a favorite part of my face, but besides the point, I noticed recently that because I do have a larger nose, I have no problem with a mask staying in place. I've noticed on other people, if you have like a smaller dainty nose or a flatter nose, they're constantly having to pull up the mask and I don't have that problem, like can't relate. So for like a rare moment in my life, I'm like grateful for my nose and that sounds really silly, but if you're annoyed that I'm doing this, why are you still watching this video? It's the end, just click to the next one, okay? Deuces, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you when I see you, which is later. Okay, bye. <laughs>